this is showing what is possible with stock steppers on a Trudon. The only mods are my clipper kit and the gantry upgrade. So you can get close to this. Um, I mean, not obviously 500 millimeters a second at 25,000 Excel, but this is showing what proper tuning of the software does because you would get nowhere near the quality that I can get right now with uh, without tuning properly. But by putting the accelerometer on the tip of the nozzle, like I'm going to show uh, after this plays, you get much more accurate results. The frequencies actually turned out to be higher, which is easier to correct. And as you can see, I'm going to slow it down here in a second so that no one can argue that I really didn't go this fast. But you'll see the speeds were hitting 450 and 500. Um, the speeds were actually set to 500. It was 400 first layer, 500 perimeters, 450 external perimeters, and 25,000 Excel. Um, there's no hint of ringing. The only thing that you could possibly say that was wrong with this print was there was a little bit of a cooling issue, which tends to happen when you're printing as fast as I was, and also I was using glass filled nylon, which is a filament they recommend to print at like 30 to 60 millimeters a second. Uh, but yeah, this is with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and I think the results speak for itself, because this is real time right here if you look at the timer. Um, you can see it going up on the uh, bottom left of the screen, and it's uh, it's just insane to see a printer moving like that when a year ago I was begging to get over 100 or 150. When I first bought my Trudon, I couldn't get prints without ringing at over 100 until I did dynamic acceleration, and then I got up to maybe 125 or 150, but it really wasn't, because it would just slow down. So. This is the end of it right here, and you can see what the cube looks like. Which, like I said, the results speak for themselves. I'll hold it up for a close up in a second. I'll put a bookmark in the table of contents. In case anyone wanted to skip ahead. Alright, I'm uh, showing a new STL that I made up real quick because uh, I saw someone else talking about it or showing something but the idea is that uh, it mounts the accelerometer directly on the tip of the nozzle so it'll work with any M6 uh, whether it's Volcano, this is showing it on a Dragon and then on the printer I'm going to put it on a uh, Takato hot end which uses Volcano nozzles and uh, I made it thick enough that it'll work with pretty much any brand nozzle because uh, if it's too thin then the nozzle can't tighten all the way but uh, you want to you know go finger tight and then uh, you know either use like a slice torque wrench or use whatever wrench but uh, go like maybe a quarter turn more you know you really don't want to go crazy there's no need to strip anything or just make sure it compresses the plastic a little bit and it feels solid Anyway, first thing you want to do is home the printer. Then if you have the tram or G32. Alright, so the other thing is, once it's finished uh, homing, raise it up, put the accelerometer on the actual hot ends. Make sure you're either using the newest version of my components file, um, or go into your printer config and set the resonance tester at a Z height of 40 because you don't want to take the chance of the hot end smashing into the bed 
uh, if you have it set for like a 10Z height, which is like what I used to use. And then just literally type in shaper underscore calibrate, and let it do its thing. And when it's done, press save config or type save underscore config and you are done.